I turned around and uh, just was pretty bummed out to see a mountain lion chasing after me. So I, I stopped and I threw my, my hands up in the air and I started shouting. And unfortunately, the shouts didn't deter it. So it just kind of kept running and lunged at me. Um, it was going toward my, my face, so I threw up my, my hands to kind of block my face, at which point it grabbed onto my hand and wrist. And uh, from there, it started to claw at my face and neck. And that's when kind of my fear response turned into more of a fight response, because I realized how close it was getting to my eyes. And it got a claw on my lip. and. Uh, I tried to throw it off me at that point, and then we took a little tumble down the south side of the trail, and down there just kind of had a, a little wrestling match, at which point I was able to get on top of it, uh, pin its back legs, so I didn't get um, any soft tissue scratched out in my nether regions. And um, at that point, I, I was grabbing around for sticks, um, I only had my left hand free. My right hand was still locked in its jaws. Tried to, to get at its neck to see if I could uh, stab it in the neck to get it to release. Um, that wasn't working. The sticks were, were breaking. So then I picked up a rock that I, that I had seen kind of near us. Um, it was pretty heavy, and it was kind of hard to wield. And I uh, tried to give it a few bashes in the, the back of the head. but. Uh, Fortunately, I just kind of had a tough time swinging it with my, my arm still locked into the cat's jaws. Really, it wasn't working too well. At that point, I knew with two, two pretty good blows to the back of the head that it didn't release, that um, I was probably going to have to do something a little more drastic. And then I was able to kind of shift my weight and get a foot on its neck. And at that point, I stepped on it, on its neck, with my, my right foot. Um, and just slowly after a few few minutes, um, I thought I'd be getting close and then I'd start thrashing again and had a few more scratches that resulted from those, those uh, thrashes at that point. And uh, I'd say uh, another couple of minutes later, it finally, finally stopped moving and then jaws opened and I was able to kind of scramble back up the hill and get the heck out of Dodge.